Hey guys, it's 2 Pro2 Games or Adam. Welcome to a Black Ops 3 Zombies video. And today we're going to be showing you how to complete all the rituals here on Shadows of Evil. So you guys can go ahead and pack a bunch. The first thing you want to do is right as soon as you spawn in, go ahead and go into this afterlife mode. You want to go ahead and break that box on the uh, behind the truck right here because that is the first thing we're going to need. The summoning key, that is the very first thing you're going to want to do. So after that, what you want to do is you're going to come into the main area. The first door you open, you're going to have this big area over here. Go right here into the afterlife mode. Go ahead and turn stamina up while you're doing that. And you want to go ahead and zap this crane over here because the crane is going to give us our first uh, special part that we need to complete the ritual. And this is the gold fountain pen. And it's going to go ahead and just drop this crate on the ground. The crate will crack open and you can go ahead and pick up the uh, gold fountain pen which is located right there. Now the next Thing you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and go back into this afterlife mode and this is literally right at near the spawn as well so you can knock this off really quickly on round two you want to go ahead and grapple up here onto this uh, spot and what you want to do is you want to run exactly where I do. This is where we're going to complete your very first ritual. You want to go ahead and open up the staircase that leads from the spawn up here so you can go ahead and uh, complete your first ritual. So once you have the pen and you open the door, you want to run right up here and you're going to place your pen on this table. Now, when you're doing this, I highly recommend having Juggernaut. I don't even have Quick Revive at this point, which is not a good idea because these guys can kill you. You don't have to kill them. I prefer just running around in a circle and completely avoiding them. That's probably the best thing to do. But once you run around here for a bit, uh, the ritual be will be complete and a worm will spawn in. A gateway worm, I believe is called. And that is going to be the first of many gateway worms that you're going to have to collect. So our second ritual is going to be the championship bell. Now from the spawn you want to go ahead and open up this door right here. As soon as you ha open, up that, open up that door there's going to be one of those ritual purple blue flames, whatever they are. You want to go in that, grapple up here, look behind you, there's going to be another grapple. You want to go ahead and grapple over there. You're going to go ahead and hit this box. The box will fall down, it will break, and the championship belt will be sitting right there and you'll go ahead and open up that door as well it's a portal we're gonna need that later on to complete all of the rituals so as you can see i go i went ahead i knocked the box down i'm just gonna run right over here and it's going to be sitting there right on the ground right around the corner go ahead and pick up that championship belt and right exactly from that area go ahead and open up that door we're heading towards the docks again there's going to be one of these purple flames over here you're going to go ahead and enter the afterlife mode the beast mode whatever you want to call it and there's going to be a door right here and that's where we're going to uh, perform our second ritual so once you open that door go over here place the championship belt uh, on the table and go ahead and start the ritual and like I said guys again make sure you have at least quick revive at least this time I have quick revive these guys in some of these rooms can actually kill you because some of these rooms are pretty small like this one right here I got red screen right off the bat so make sure you have at least quick revive if not juggernaut as well and then after you are done go ahead and pick up the uh, gate worm and then we're gonna move on to our third ritual so for ritual number three, which is the hair piece, we're going to go ahead and open up this door. This is from that main area after you open up like that main starting door. And we're going to go ahead and enter beast mode right there. Grapple right away up here. And we're going to go ahead and open up this door. There's also a perk located up here so you can go ahead and turn that perk on. And then what you want to do is just go ahead, easy jump across the ledge, knock this box off, and then just go back to a human 
and then that hair piece or the wig is going to be sitting right there for you. Now we're going to keep it going because I want to show you guys exactly where to go. You can go ahead and go up those stairs and then take a left and there's going to be a door that you can open and then we're going to go ahead and open up the area where the next ritual is going to be. Now I quickly do want to mention you don't have to do these in any specific order. You can do it in any order that you like. I'm just doing it in the order that I personally like doing it but it does not matter what order you do it this in. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and go back into beast mode, go ahead, grapple up here, and you're gonna go ahead and zap this switch right behind this big billboard. And then that's going to open up the room pretty much right underneath that billboard is going to be kind of this uh, big showroom, whatever this place is. And you're gonna go ahead and place the hairpiece on the pedestal. And that is going to pretty much complete our third ritual and i still don't have jug or not it's round eight i still don't have jug I'm not exactly sure what i do what i'm doing not a good idea but when you complete that you're going to go ahead and pick up our third three out of four uh gatework so for our fourth and final ritual we are going to be getting the officer's badge you want to come over here to where the canals are and uh, as soon as you kind of cross that little bridge with the sign where it says canals just go over to your right there's going to be one of these purple flames we're going to go ahead and enter into beast mode we're going to drop down here into the water go ahead and over here and just uh, hit that you're going to hit this door as well because that's a portal we're going to need that next and then you want to go over here and zap this thing right here then you want to go ahead return to your human form and then we're going to go ahead and pick up the uh, officer's badge which is going to be located right here make sure you're kind of crouching i don't know where i was going when uh, I was trying to pick this up. Go ahead and crouch. Uh, it's kind of a tough to get it when you're standing up. So next, you're going to go over here, right by the canals again. You're going to go ahead, enter beast mode. You're going to grapple right up here. And then you have to go through this uh, little house over here. And again, I was pretty lost because I actually had troubles with this one. I didn't know where to go. And you want to go ahead and zap that. And that's going to go ahead and open up these stairs. Return to your human form. And then you're going to go ahead and run up here. And you're going to uh, perform your fourth and final ritual. And I almost kind of die here on the staircase. I got to get trapped there for a second. And as you can see, one of these zombies actually just stretches like crazy i love the stretch glitch it's honestly the best thing ever so you gotta go over ahead and place your uh officer's badge on the ritual table and we're gonna go ahead and perform our fourth and final ritual i do want to mention uh after this step you're going to actually need to buy a widow's wine if you're playing solo uh if not somebody else in your game can get widow's wine so make sure you don't have four perks at this point as you can see it's pretty early on round nine and i already have the fourth ritual complete but make sure you have uh, an extra perk slot because when you go through the, the portal widow's wine is going to be located there and you're going to need to buy that to uh, be able to pack a bunch. And as you can see, I got a trophy there. And now we're going to head on to the next step. Okay, guys, so we're going to be going ahead and opening up the Pack-A-Punch now. So what you want to do is we're going to go through one of those portals that we opened up earlier. You just go up to the portal, go ahead and press square on it. And it actually is called the Rift. You open up the Rift, and then we're going to go ahead and go through the Rift. Now here, this is where Widow's Wine is located. So what you want to do uh, is we're going to need Widow's Wine. So we're going to go ahead and go into the Beast Mode. Widow's Wine is literally right not there right here we're gonna go ahead and turn widow's wine on widow's wine is surprisingly four thousand points i was not prepared for that so make sure you have four thousand points to buy widow's wine and then what we're going to do is we're going to head through this hole in the wall right here and what you're going to do is you're going to place down uh, all four of your uh, uh worms on these pedestals so there's one right here uh, and then there's going to be one on the opposite side over here and this is where widow's wine is necessary because you're going to have to wall run across and there's going to be two more of the pedestals located right in front of the pack-a-punch and then what you want to do is you want to wall run back to kind of where you came from 
And then that first thing we got at the beginning of the game in the spawn room, you're going to place that here, the summoning stone. And then what you want to do is you want to kind of run around for a bit. And then there's going to be this, uh, uh, the shadow man is going to kind of show up. He's going to talk to you for a second, but you just run around for a bit. It takes like, you know, 30 seconds for the pack a bunch to open. And I was actually kind of clueless down here. I had no idea what I was doing, uh, but as you can see, uh, these, this is one of those, uh, what can you call this round? Is it a dog round? Like a ball round? I don't know. It's kind of weird. But as you can see, the Shadow Man is standing there. And then the Pack-a-Punch is open. And I was really confused. I'm like, where's the Pack-a-Punch? And you put your weapon into this, like, portal type thing. And you can Pack-a-Punch that way. It's really, really strange. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to know anything about Shadows of Evil or the Giant, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'll have tons of zombie content. Peace out.